Hi, I'm Linda Silverman. I'm a licensed psychologist and the founder and director of Gifted Development Center and the Institute for the Study of Advanced Development in Westminster, Colorado, USA. And I'm Linda Powers Leviton, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist who works with the gifted and creative of all ages. And I'm also the West Coast representative of the Gifted Development Center, and I work out of Los Angeles, California, also USA. So we're going to talk to you today about an idea that basically is Linda, Linda Lee's on how to manifest your dreams. And we call it happy hour at the creativity buffet. Do you have more ideas than you can possibly implement in your lifetime? There is never enough time to fulfill all of our imaginings. Does your creativity keep you awake at night? This certainly is a problem for both Linda Lee and myself. The challenge of taming a creative mind is universal. I call it a gifted problem. I've never met a gifted person who had a creative mind that they could turn off. But having a creative mind is like having a bull in an open field that basically goes wherever it wants to. You don't really have much control over it. This banjo is an example of an idea that took 25 years to complete. Dan Levitt is my partner, and he used marquetry and inlay and carving all of it by hand while he had a full-time career as a, a sign language interpreter, and he raised three children. You can do it, but you do have to have some patience. You often stuff your plate with more than you can chew at a buffet or when you're trying to decide what you need to do. And then get depressed because you haven't been able to leave any room for the dessert at the buffet, but also because you haven't done what you thought you should have done in the time that you've had. Stop beating yourself up for what you haven't done and see how you can create what you really want in your life. This is Linda and I, and Linda has been my mentor and best friend since I was 12. And we have done it all. We have done all of the things on our creativity buffet, and there's still a lot more. We've learned how to manifest most of our dreams. I believe if you can dream it, you can do it. And everything starts with just a thought. Because we dreamed these books, Linda wrote 300 articles. She raised two children and several foster children. I raised three children. We did it, but we didn't do it all at once. We did it over time. And there's still more of the buffet we want to sample. You can take a small plate and return to the creativity buffet as often as you choose, because it's still going to be there when you come back. It's endless. Even saving enough room for those tempting desserts. Because our ideas are often bigger and more plentiful than our availability to achieve them at any given period of our lives, we need tools to help manage our creative dreams. And that's what we're here to share today. We're going to give you tools for managing your personal creativity buffet. So the steps for creating an ABC menu, which is the tool that I've used many times, and so has Linda, and we'll talk about that later. 
The tool for manifesting your dreams has four basic steps. First, you have to decide on, on a time frame. So that means you need to decide, is this something that I really need to do in the next year? Is this something that I, that I want to do sometime in the next five years, 10 years? Or is it a bucket list just before I die? Then you spend time prioritizing these desires and you want to put them into three lists, your needs, your wants, and your dreams within the particular time frame. And we'll talk about that in more detail next. You want to allow your imagination to soar. You don't want to narrow it down or limit yourself to what you think is possible. Do not set any limitations. The A menu are things that you feel you must have or that you must have accomplished in order for you to be happy. The B menu, those are things that you'd like to have or have accomplished, but you can postpone them and they're things that may or may not be necessary for your happiness. And then the C menu is the icing on the cake. These are your wildest dreams, but you can live without them. The ABC manifestations need to be handwritten and specific. They can be presented as a list, as we said, an A list, a B list, or C list. Those are the examples we're going to show you. But I've given you three visual representations of different ways you can do it. The main thing is they have to have levels. They have to have an A level. They have to have a B level. They have to have a C level. And depending on how you imagine and organize your dreams will be how you present them. You can also just do a collage with pictures on it. Once you have your menu, you're gonna rewrite it daily until you're confident that it reflects what you really need and want. You're gonna look for clues every day that something from one list might better be moved to another one, such as if something is on your A list and it seems like it's something you must have, then suddenly you find out, wait a minute, that really wasn't that important or I don't really, really want that even. Um, then you move it to a different list or you remove it completely. You need to be patient though. You need to give the universe a chance to decide how and when to create this for you. That is out of your control. So this is a co-creation between you and the universe. And you allow the universe to flesh out the details. You don't know how this is all going to happen and you don't know when it's going to happen. You leave that up to the universe to decide. This is an example of a handwritten ABC menu for finding a job. This was one of my clients. And we spent a lot of time trying to figure out what was really necessary for him because he didn't have a lot of experience and what he really needed. And you need to be really specific. It can, can include having an office with a window. It can include having a tree outside of your window. You are the one who determines what goes on each list, and only you can know what belongs there. This is my list for finding a partner. And as you can see, I have a lot of things on it, a lot of things on the need list, a lot of things on the want list, and a few things on the icing on the cake list. I spent 10 years dating when I would meet lots of men who had many of the things on the A-list, but not all of them. And I did move things from the A-list to the C to the B-list or the C-list. But the things that I ended up getting in my partner, I got all of the A-list, all of the B-list, and three of the items on the C-list, including shopping and loving yard sales. And he likes to give massages. So I couldn't be happier. And it, this, this method has worked with more than just me. My daughter also found her partner this way. So this is my list that Linda had me create 
when I was looking for a house. And I already had my list on the computer. And she said, no, no, it has to be handwritten. And every time you go out to look at houses, you have to rewrite the list. And I just rolled my eyes thinking, right, like that's going to make a difference. Well, it really did. Each time I went house hunting, I, I tweaked it just a tiny bit. And I did move things from one list to another. And finally, uh, managed to create exactly what I wanted through this method. The house that I found, this is the easy button from Staples. I had 75 items on my three lists. I got 100% of the 32 items on the A list, over half of the items on the B list, and half of the items on my C list. This is my home that I adore. And these are some of my icing on the cake items. I got a water feature, a hot tub, a theater, a perfect place to wrap presents. So we invite you to manifest your own fondest wishes and to try out our ABC list method. You're only limited by your imagination. Hold fast to your dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Dreams are illustrations from the book your soul is writing about you. If you'd like more information about manifesting your dreams, Linda Lee has a presentation on Lynn Hellerstein's podcast, Vision Beyond Sight. And this is the link to that presentation during that lovely podcast that I got the thrill to listen to. Lynn said, expect a miracle. Thank you. Thank you.